In class, we learned arithmetic sequences as linear functions. The skills learned were determine whether the sequence is an arithmetic sequence, write yes or no, and explain, find the next three terms of each arithmetic sequence, and write an equation for the nth term of the arithmetic sequence. Use your notes and your math book for key concepts. You can always pause this video and replay. Now let's look at a couple examples. Determine whether each sequence is arithmetic, write yes or no. Well, what we learned in class is that in order to be an arithmetic sequence, it has to have a common difference. That means the same numbers between each term. Between negative 10 and 7, it's increasing by 3. Between negative 7 and 4, it's increasing also by 3. And between negative 4 and 1, wait a minute, that's increasing by 5. So in this case, these aren't common, they're not all the same. So I'm going to write no. It's not an arithmetic sequence. Explain no common difference. Number two, find the next three terms in each arithmetic sequence. So I want something there. So I'm going to make room for my next three terms. What we learned in class is this is the first term. We called it a sub 1. This is the second term, a sub 2. This is the third term, a sub 3, and so on. Then to find the difference, we took the second term minus the first term. So a sub 2 minus a sub 1 should give you the common difference, CD. So what is the second term? 1.08. Subtract the first term, 0 0.02 equals 1.06. So that seems to be the common difference. So then I would add that to the fourth term. So each term added 1.06 will bring us our next term. So we have 3.2 plus 1.06 equals 4.26. So that's one of them. And we want to take 4.26 and add the common difference to that. 5.26 1.06 and that gives us 6.38. Our next problem, write an equation for the nth term of the arithmetic sequence. So let's see what the general formula looks like. a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Well, what we learned was a sub n, that's like our y that's going to stay there. a sub 1 is the first term, n is like our x, and d is the common difference. So really the only two pieces that we want to substitute is a sub 1 and d, and we'll just have our formula. As it turns out, There's our first term, negative 2, and then the common difference, how much between 3 and 8, is 5, and that's everything we need to know. So a sub 1 is negative 2, the common difference is 5, so our entire formula is a sub n equals negative 2, 
So let's see that again. a sub n equals negative 2 plus n minus 1 times d. And I usually like to put d in another parenthesis so that we remember that it's multiplied.